This question explores the concept of limits by examining a specific function involving an absolute value, where x approaches a point of discontinuity. This problem typically is at the level of a calculus assignment or quiz. If you're preparing for final exam level calculus questions, feel free to check out my YouTube videos linked above. Let the function f of x be defined as the absolute value of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. What is the limit of f of x as x approaches 2? Provide justification using one-sided limits. First of all, understand the structure of the function. We are analyzing the expression. The absolute value of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. This expression is not defined exactly at x equals 2, but we can still explore what happens as x gets closer to 2 from both sides, from the left and from the right. Next, consider the right-hand limit as x approaches 2 from values greater than 2. When x is greater than 2, the expression x minus 2 is positive. So the absolute value of x minus 2 is simply x minus 2. Therefore, the expression becomes x minus 2 divided by x minus 2, which simplifies to 1. So the limit from the right-hand side is 1. Then, now consider the left-hand limit as x approaches 2 from values less than 2. When x is less than 2, the expression x minus 2 is negative. The absolute value of x minus 2 becomes the opposite of x minus 2 or negative x minus 2. So the full expression becomes negative x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. That simplifies to negative 1. So the limit from the left-hand side is negative 1. Last, compare the two one-sided limits. From the right side, the limit is 1. From the left side, the limit is negative 1. Since the two one-sided limits are not equal, the two-sided limit does not exist. So, final answer is, the limit of the function as x approaches 2 does not exist. This kind of limit problem is a great way to check your understanding of how absolute value behaves. Here's what you should always remember. The absolute value of something like x minus a constant will behave differently on each side of that constant. For example, to the right of 2, x minus 2 is positive. But to the left of 2, it's negative, so the absolute value becomes the opposite of that expression. Always analyze the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit separately. That's the only way to know whether the full two-sided limit exists. If the two one-sided limits are not the same, then the limit simply does not exist. This is a step up in difficulty from basic absolute value limits like absolute x over x, because here the critical point isn't zero, it's another number like two. So keep your eyes sharp for where the absolute value switches behavior. Keep practicing with different values, and soon this will feel second nature. That's it for this question. This video is based on our math tutoring blog and class recordings. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel. If you're looking for tutoring on final exam level questions, check out my YouTube channel at MathTutor8285. You'll find helpful explanations and strategies to ace your exams.